heroes and heroines of all ages. When the world tells you to get a life, you're always welcome at the one up block. My name is Dan the Man, your host, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge. When we last left off, we did the episode that everybody absolutely adores, the Collectathon episode, where we went and collected the rest of the uh, items that we needed before we completed the game. We are now stocked with everything we could possibly buy. I have a shit ton of potions, both health and magic, and we are practically set to go take on the fight. Well, practically, we are actually set to take on the final boss. If if you've gotten as far as I have right now and you're not ready to take on the final boss, then I, I really don't know what to say to you. That, that, that's just a losing battle on my part, but without further ado, I guess in case you skipped the last half of the last episode since it was basically boring as shit and I was just complaining about some stuff and you didn't really miss anything, I guess I could take this opportunity to show you the items that we bought at the end of the last episode with the items that we collected. Uh, first we had this fireball, which is a flamethrower, which might actually be pretty useful. Uh, and then we have the clouds, which both versions kind of just explode. Which I think one of them just explodes really, really big, and that's basically all the difference is. <laughs> but now we can transform into the mermaid and start making our way downtown. Walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. No, but seriously, we're we're actually making our way on to the final boss, or the final area, the final dungeon, if you will. And when we get in there, I'm actually going to be avoiding this one spot. Uh, well, not avoiding it. I'm going to be skipping it, rather. I'm going to show you what it's about, what you do in it. And after we get past it, I'm actually going to skip to the end of it because it's incredibly boring and incredibly long. And it's another flaw that this game has. I, I like this game, but just like the first game, it has parts of it that I just absolutely don't like and don't think are pretty good. But that's okay. The, the, the good far outweighs the bad, in my opinion. But if I could say just right now, I am really tired of playing this game. <laughs> huh? Was that... Oh, it's boarding already? Sorry, I had to do it one last time. But I'm incredibly tired of playing this game right now because I made a boo-boo during the last recording. This is actually not the first time I've come into this place. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to leave it at that. I made an oopsie and I had to redo a bunch of stuff. I had to redo the entire last episode. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there. Sunken Cavern. Let me complain about this for a second. This... This could have been an incredibly fun minigame, like you can see right here with the gameplay that I'm showing you that this looks like it could be kind of fun, like they could make like a little shoot 'em up uh, bullet hell minigame out of this that could have been pretty entertaining uh, and slightly difficult, but all it really amounts to is what you're seeing on screen right now. There's there's tinker, t ah, tinker bats that slowly swim towards you with their things, but if you shoot them they, you know, float away. And if you let some of them swim by, the the ones you let sw come by will run on the floor like that and then try to shoot you. And then you've got these fish and the mines that you're seeing me, these right here. You blow them up and boom, they're gone. But that's all this level has to offer, and it goes on for an eternity. So when I say I'm about to skip this for your own good, you know exactly why I'm doing it. Because I love you and I don't want to waste your time. So, with that being said, I will see you at the end of this segment. You lucky bastard. Alright guys, and we're at the final stretch. This should be the last bit of the Tinker Bats that I'm taking care of right now. And once that's out of the way, it should be the end. Oh, nope, never mind. We still have just a little bit left. This happened during the last recording too, by the way. I thought I was done with it, but I actually had a good little chunk of it left. But that should be the end? Oh, thank gosh. Like, <laughs> I love this game, by the way, but I've played it way more in, like, the few sittings that I've had, because I, I practice the games that I'm playing multiple times before I do the recording, so I know what I'm doing, and I'm, I've played this so many times. But, there's, the cool thing about this place is that it does give you warp squids and save stations, so in case you're, you know, kind of curious if you can make it back or not, you can actually go back to town and restock on shit that you need. I'm actually, and uh, no, I don't need to, wait, wait, eh. I think I'm going to save, this is the only time during the Let's Play where I'm going to do a live save, I think. 
I might have done one at the beginning of the Let's Play, but I don't remember. Um, I'm going to save here just in case I mess up because I am going to be doing something incredibly stupid. And by stupid, I mean I'm going to be doing this boss fight the hard way. So I can show off not only how to do it, but so I can show the boss's strategy and everything. But I also kind of want to be a masochist, and it's sort of funny to watch me flop around when I'm trying to fight this guy. If the last recording was anything to go by, it should be pretty entertaining while I try to dodge everything. Either that or it'll be terrible. It'll be one or the other, so, you know, with a little luck, you guys will have a good time. But this is sort of just a little labyrinth. You're just making your way through... You can see where to go based on where the uh, the little lanterns are, whatever. The lanterns on the wall, right? But everything's pretty visually standout-ish, so you'll know where you're going. Don't worry about it. You won't get lost, I promise. This isn't one of those games. Boom. Oh, boom. And with that said, we are now at the final gate. We're at the final battle, guys. Is that, it's, it's, it's a little overwhelming. <laughs> Not really, though, but I, I'm ready to get this over with. Ho, ho, ho. Make yourself comfortable, Grandpa. Your genie friend should be arriving any moment now. You three, what are you standing around for? You've been paid, now shove off. Hey, the deal wasn't for cash. What about her brains? And our lifetime supply of coffee. Sorry, change of plans. It ain't worth fighting over. Let's go. I got a feeling things are about to get messy. Well, we've been betrayed by our friends, and we get one last cute animation from Roddy Tops. And that's it. Risky, this is a new low. Turning my friends against each other, it's sick. Ah, you've arrived. It could have gone differently, you know. Maybe you should have just handed over those seals in the beginning and saved your friends from such grief. The outcome would have been the same. She's not wrong, by the way. Now give me those three magic seals and I promise that your uncle can go free. I can't say the same for you. Don't do it, Shantae. She'll use them to unleash the lamp's hidden power. Take them and run! I can't. Risky wins this time. You guys were dragged into this because I was too weak to do my job. It's my responsibility as a guardian genie to face this on my own. Give Risky the magic seals? Yes or no? Mm, you know what? No, let's not do what she says because fuck Risky. I don't have a choice. And neither do we. You actually don't get to choose what we do here. That, that was actually just kind of the developers being dicks. I have to do it. So we give her all three magic seals. And bad news bears for us. The magic seals are mine. Your uncle is free to go. Uncle, go now. But I'll deal with Risky. Get going. Ho, ho, ho. In a few moments, the lamp will be restored to full strength, and its dark power will be mine. It's not over yet. There's still time to stop you. You're certainly welcome to try. Ho, ho, ho. And reintroducing the Tinker Tub. Men. And the Tinker Bats. Throw the steam-powered oceanic tinker tub into overdrive. Let's see what this baby can really do. Well, shit. Welcome to a rehash boss fight, where the battle mechanics are still the same. Avoid his attacks and hit the explosive barrels in his mouth. The only thing that's really changed here is that the battle goes on slightly longer than it did at the beginning of the game. Obviously, because it has to be more difficult. This is the end of the game, after all. Here she shoots out uh, bombs, and some of them contain Tinker Bats. You can actually attack the Tinker Bats and get your health back, or get magic, or even get money. Even though there's no way to go back with money. Like, you can't go back to town from this point onward, because this is the final boss, and that'd be stupid if they let you go back to the town, you know? So I don't even know why they give you money. The Tinker Bats should have been programmed to give you, like, only health and magic. But I guess that's to keep it from being too easy, I guess. But let, let's be honest here. This boss fight is really stupid. 
It's just as easy as it was at the beginning of the game. So we're gonna trash him. When she shoots these cannonballs, you can actually jump through. Like, the cannonballs don't act as damaging properties. They don't have damaging properties until they hit the ground and explode. So you can wait till the last second and jump and be perfectly fine. The Tinker Bats are also come out of the bombs, but they always come out in the same pattern. So if you know where they're going to pop up, just, you know, come up with your own strategy of, avoid of avoiding them. But besides that, she also does this thing with the anchor. And then once she does that... She usually goes into showing you the barrel so you can hit it and make him explode. Because, fuck the Tinker Tub. Even though the Tinker Tub is cool as shit... He's a pretty cool robot, if, uh, if we... All things considered, you know? He's a robot pirate ship. Like, how many, how many of those can you count off your fingers, like, right now? Probably a lot, but shut up. He doesn't actually have a personality. I kind of wish the Tinker Tub had some sort of personality. But he does not. He is unfortunately just a cute looking pirate ship. Come on, make the thing pop out. During the last recording, he actually like skipped a barrel section. So he actually just went straight into attacking like again. And it made the fight extra long and it's kind of annoying. Come on. Shoot, do the barrel. This is where he did it. If he doesn't do the barrel right now, he's going to jump into the background. Yep, there it is. Boom. That should be it, right? Ooh, baby, a triple. Actually, before this ends, I'm going to drink me a potion because I want to be full health. Because I'm, this is what's going to be stupid, is I'm going to try and do this the hard way. This is actually a trophy if you beat this next fight without using any items. So I'm going to try my best to do it. If not, you're going to know why and I'm going to have to retry. But hopefully I can impress you. You're finished, Risky. Tisk tisk. Gotta keep your eye on the prize. You see? The magic lamp is back in action and ready to rock. If you still want to know the secret of the lamp, I'll show you. Sorry, I just kind of lisped there. Open wide and say ah. Well, shit. Uh, what? What have you done? Ha! Do you understand now? This lamp has the power to suck up and enslave genies. Once captured, the genie must grant every wish her master desires, no matter how evil. That is what your uncle has been hiding from you. With this, I can turn a genie into a weapon of total destruction. No one will dare defy me. But how could it work on me? I'm only half genie. I'll admit, at first glance, it seems pretty useless. After all, there aren't any real genies left to enslave. But since you're half-genie, I figured, why not use the lamp to strip you of your powers? Uh, she's right! My magical half is gone! What's left is... I'm human! Now let's see how you fare without your special powers. Hear me, genie of the lamp. I command you to appear. Well, shit. It's Negashante. Do not hesitate. Destroy this brat. Don't stop until she's a stain on the floor. I can't transform. Risky will use my magic for evil. And all I have to fight with are these items I found along the way. Please be enough. And this is the fight, my guys, my dudes. This is the rough one. I'm not going to be using any items. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you exactly what we need to do. Uh, during this fight, Evil Shantae will use your magic against you, meaning she does all of her dances to turn into the animal forms that we once picked up, and she basically just uses all their attacks against us. The monkey uses his monkey bullet, uh, the elephant uses his stomp, and the mermaid uses her bubble. The mermaid is going to be the worst part about this fight, and you're going to see why as soon as I get a chance to show it off. Um, you can tell with... I think that's... Is that the... No, that's not the mermaid. That's the monkey. Uh, if, if she even shows off the mermaid during this first section... Uh, the first time I fought her during the last recording, she just didn't want to do it. I don't, even, I don't remember why. Oh, here it is. So when she does that dance, you want to hurry up and get to the other side here. And every second form of the attack, you jump. The bubble's going to come for the corner. This is the elephant. Wait a few seconds and then jump. Then she's going to do the stomp attack. She stops halfway into the room, so be waiting, be waiting so you can attack. So see one, two, and then that's it. 
And that's basically the strategy for dodging all of her attacks, at least for now. So, whenever she, basically every time she does that hip shake thing that is the telltale sign that she's going to be the uh, mermaid, that's when you need to watch out. The monkey and the elephant, not so much, but good lord, lord save you if she turns into the mermaid, because that's, that's going to be the thing that destroys your chance at that trophy, since it's probably going to be the thing that kills you the most. You just have to know when you need to jump. That's, that's about it. Every second bubble, you need to do it. This is the monkey again, right? Yep. And I kind of didn't want to do this for the fight because it kind of takes longer, but hey, when, once it starts getting kind of crazy, it might be entertaining to watch. <laughs> it, it got pretty entertaining during the last recording, but then I fucked up. And I'll tell you what the boo-boo was. Well, I can just tell you right now, honestly. Shit, that's the mermaid. Okay, see, bubble, two. And there we go. What I did was I got all the way to this boss fight, and the thing is, I don't save in between recordings uh, just in case I, uh, fuck up the recording. Oh, damn it, that's the mermaid again. Uh, one. Okay. I don't save just in case I fuck up the recording and have to start over. And what happened was I didn't save after I collected all the items during the last episode. So I had to do all of that over again. I almost didn't record again today, but I really wanted to get Shantae out of the way. So you can kind of see why I'm a little upset with, uh, playing Shantae Risky's Revenge right now. But... It's mostly my own fault. I, I fucked up. It's not the game's fault. I'm sorry. But this boss fight's relatively simple, especially if you know she's going to be the monkey or the elephant. Those you can kind of work into your, it, to your advantage. But if you see that, that hip shake and dance where she's going to do the that, if you see this dance particularly, run to the other end of the stage as fast as possible. I don't know how you're going to run to the other side as fast as possible, but do it. I'm taking some pot shots here, but that's because I suck. Alright, one. Time those jumps properly or you're gonna take extra damage that you really don't need. And now she's turning into extra hard Shantae. She doesn't look any different, uh, but her attacks are now gonna be really quick. So her dances come out really fast, and now the elephant goes across the entire screen. Uh, the monkey is faster, and the mermaid basically has no change. <laughs> The mermaid is just quicker with her attacks. Okay, here's the elephant again, shit! I almost took extra damage there. See, this is where this gets kind of difficult. But you can take advantage of the elephant and the monkey. Less so about the monkey, but with the elephant you can definitely take advantage of it during this section since after she's done doing the transformation, she kind of takes a while, shit! All right, bubble, bubble, one, two, three. See? You have actually a pretty big margin of time to do it, so it's not really that big of a worry. But it's still kind of stressful because if you you can't use any healing potions if you're going for this uh, trophy. Like no magical items can be used, and she's gonna do the elephant. One, two, three. You can actually run through the elephant whenever it's like sitting there. Actually, so okay, I'm gonna okay, I can hit it. Never mind, shit, monkey. I'm a mo if you want to be really safe. Wait for her to do the elephant transformation and then attack, because you really don't know if she's going to start doing the, um, the mermaid dance while you're hitting her. And in this second stage of the fight, she can actually start doing the dance and attack you really quickly. So, m your best bet is to just wait for the elephant and take advantage of that if you want to be on the safe side. But, of course, I'm being sort of reckless and I kind of want to get the fight over as soon as possible because this is a let's play. So, I'm going to do everything I can. As you can see, you have mo the most amount of time to hit her after she does the elephant dance. But, in general, this isn't that hard of a fight. Like, I was pretty um, intimidated the first time I tried to get the trophy. And it, it took me like two or three tries. But once you figure out her patterns, she's actually pretty simple. But it's still a really good boss fight. Like, this actually, this puts platforming and your abilities to fight to the test. So, okay. One. Two. Three. You see? Pretty simple. That's. But the mermaid is still the dance that's gonna kill you. Like, straight up. <laughs> it's the hardest one. And now I'm being attacked by the monkey Richard joke. See, this is what it's all amounted to. Any of you people that hate that joke, it's now attacking me, so, you know. <laughs> You're welcome. I got. Oh, shit. Damn it. Alright. One. Two. Three. Ta da! And now I've made the fight slightly simpler for you people. Of course, if you're using magic items and potions, this fight is pretty much a joke anyway, because 
Number one, you can heal, and when you're drinking a potion, she stops, and potions heal you 100%, and you can carry 10 potions. So if you, at any point, die and you have all of your items on you, I really don't know what to tell you. It's probably going to be because you didn't expect it and you, like, took a pop shot and died, but that's it. We did it. I did the hard mode run of this fight. You're welcome. It's over, Risky. You fool. You would destroy your superior half in exchange for this town full of simpletons? Then enjoy your victory. It's only temporary. The last laugh will be mine. Ho, ho, ho. And there she goes. Shantae, you've won. Uncle, my magic... Gone. You're human now. There, there. Everything's going to be okay. Uncle, what about my hair? I don't know why it chooses to obey. Perhaps it's not genie magic as I once suspected. Perhaps that part of you doesn't come from your mother. Your mother. I've left her and everyone else... D oh, I've let her and everyone else down because of my foolishness. It's not your fault, Uncle. The danger was always out there. I was the one who rushed in unprepared. Anyway, let's get out of here. The others will be w uh, will want to know you're safe. So all along, Risky had us thinking that the lamp was a weapon, when her real scheme was to get your her grubby mitts on your magic. It took nerves of steel to do what you did. Destroying your magical half was pretty gutsy. Bah. Who needs magic? First thing tomorrow, we'll start training again. And this time, I'll teach you some human moves. Thanks, everyone. But still, I feel farther from my mother from my true home than ever before. Deep down, I want to keep trying, but I'm useless without my magic. Nonsense. Miss Genie, I'm ashamed of myself for behaving so badly. It's clear that your love of this town and will to defend or wait, and will defend you God damn it. It's clear that you love this town and will defend it to the end. That's why I'd like you to return as Scuttletown's guardian. Will you take the job? You'd take me back even without my genie magic? Absolutely. I'm going to have a talk with the ammo baron and get our town back to normal lickety split. You will? Yes. Yes, I'll do it. I'll protect this place with everything I've got, but I won't do it alone anymore. We all love this place and we'll defend it together, as a team. And I promise that from now on, I won't be too proud to take help from others, especially you guys. Evil never rests. Risky Boots and her Tinker Bats are still out there. And Roddy Tops and her brothers, too. Things will be different from now on. Yeah, but as long as we stick together, evil doesn't stand a chance. And that was Shantae Risky's Revenge. Who boy, has it been one hell of a ride. I am tired of seeing this game for right now, so I don't think I'm going to be touching it for a long time. But Pirate's Curse is going to be coming shortly after this. I might take a slight break from Shantae to work on an, uh, another game, but the game that I'll be working on will be Sonic the Hedgehog, so that game won't take me any time at all. Uh, so that'll be fun, and after that we're gonna be, you know, scooting back to Pirate's Curse so I can get that out of the way. Hopefully I'll have a better time with, uh, Pirate's Curse because 
overall, Pirate's Curse is definitely the better game of the two, so it should be a better experience for me, like, uh, <laughs> recording-wise, so hopefully I won't get tired of that and it'll be good. But uh, I think the next game's gonna be Sonic, so expect that. Don't expect Pirate's Curse for maybe a few days. I say a few days, but, uh, you know, just... You know how I am with recording, so just to, don't expect Pirate Cur Pirate's Curse right away. And if it does come right away, then I'll eat my hat, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, from all the troubles I've had with this game, uh, the enemies are still annoying uh, like they were in the first game. You mostly just want to avoid them at the end of the game, but you really can't because like, this game doesn't have the invisibility cream like it did in the first game, so you can't really escape them. Uh, and then, like... I have minor gripes, minor gripes. Uh, the backtracking at the end to get those two magic jars, they're very tiny things to complain about, so I'm not even really going to hold the game accountable for it. It's still a very fun game, and if you liked what you saw, I encourage you to go try it. It's definitely way more accessible than the first game, I'll tell you what. But Pirate's Curse is probably the game I'd recommend over all of them, and I'll show you why in the next Let's Play, but that's neither here nor there. We'll wait for it to happen. But... That's all the time we have for this one. Actually, let's see what ending we got. Uh, got all the items. 7 hours and 42 minutes. Holy shat cracker. So we should be getting like a slightly good ending. Ooh, I've never seen this picture actually. Completionist. You've earned a trophy. So this is pretty cool. This is actually an ending I haven't seen yet. But, yeah, this is the picture we got for our particular completion route. I don't remember what it was. I think it's just beat the game with 100% completion uh, with no specific time under your belt. It's just do it. Uh, so this is what we get. That's the special thing that we got. And that's the end. But before we end off, there is one last thing I do get to show you guys before we do anything. Uh, I'm going to erase this last file since that was the test file. Uh, once you beat the game, you actually get access to magic mode. The magic mode, this enchanted costume, lessens magic consumption but cuts defense in half for players looking for extra challenge. So, magic mode is kinda sweet because not only does it give Shantae an extra outfit with its own personal animations, uh, but it does... It, it, it's basically like, um... It halves the amount of magic that you use when you use, um... Oh yeah, also her portrait's changed. It, it like, halves the amount of magic you use when you use the magic items. So, say you're using the level 3, uh, pike balls. It actually doesn't take as much. I think it might actually take as much as using the second one. But, it's, it's still, it's really cool. But, you take double the damage from enemies. So, it might actually be harder. Most of the time, it's actually just easier. Uh, but the dialogue is all still the same, but Shantae has like these unique animations for her new outfit. Her hair whipping is different because now it's in a, uh, what do you call that, a braid? But, uh, yeah, this is it. So, uh, this is that, this is the dash thing I was talking about. Shantae kind of does this thing where she slides if you hold down the dodge button, which I did not know about. Uh, I'm not going to be able to show off the magic in the the items or whatever, but that, that there's really no difference. The items all look the same. It's just that they take less magic to use now. So if that's the way you want to play the game, once you beat the game, you have access to magic mode. But that is now finally all the time we have for this episode. Join me again next time as we tackle some other games some of the time. Later days, everybody. Later days.